Hello fellow developers, hope you're having a great day, this is Andrew talking and this episode is gonna be about accessibility and voiceover in Swift UI. In previous video, we were talking about accessibility in UI kit, I've covered basics of voiceover, so if you are interested, the link is gonna be down below in the description to this video. For this tutorial, we'll be having a simple Swift UI app with a few sections and the goal is to make it accessible. So here what we will be doing. First, we need to change the element's focus order to make number buttons read correctly in ascending order. Then titles should be announced as headers. Button should announce the state changes when selected. Button 9 should be unselectable as it has a disabled state. Switch focus button should move accessibility focus onto mounting image as well as announce its purpose. Custom action, access by double tap gesture should be accessible in voiceover. Announcement button must make an accessibility announcement when tapped. Finally, mounting image should be selectable by voiceover. So here is our Swift UI project. The source code you can find on GitHub, the link is gonna be in the description. So first, let's start from headers. Let's add header traits to our titles. In SwiftUI, we're doing all the accessibility using modifiers. Next, let's switch to the image. Contrary to the UI kit, image in SwiftUI is accessible by default. But what we need to add traits and labels. So let's do that. Next stop, let's make our buttons to convey the state changes. In order to convey a selected state, we're using accessibility value and assign it to a corresponding index of colors that holds a selected color of the button. For button number 9, we don't really need to do anything because disabled state is conveyed in UIKit and SwiftUI automatically. Next thing with buttons, let's create a custom order to read the buttons in ascending order. In order to change our elements order, we use an accessibility sort priority. The higher priority of the item the sooner is gonna be read by voiceover. Next, let's move accessibility focus onto the mounting image when focus move button is tapped. In order to move accessibility focus in SwiftUI, first you need to create add accessibility focus state variable. You don't need to assign any value, it's gonna be boolean and false by default. Next, we need to toggle is image focus inside of the button action. And the last one, we need to add accessibility focus modifier to our image. Also, let's add an accessibility hint to our switch focus button to convey more context for voiceover users. Next, let's create custom actions in order to be able to access double tap gesture in voiceover mode for our custom label. Here we're gonna create two custom action one that works with a double tap, the second one is gonna be similar to UI kit, the one is added to rotor, and in order to access it you need to switch rotor to actions and select change color action. And the last one, let's make an accessibility announcement when we tap make announcement button. And this is going to be very similar to UIKit because SwiftUI doesn't have a modifier or any other way to create an accessibility announcement. So 
So that's it with modification. So let's have a look at our final result. Voice over on. Voice over Swift UI. Element order. Heading. 1. Button. 2. Button. 2 selected. 3. 4. 5. 6. 7. 8. 9. Dimmed. Button. 9. Focus. Switch focus. Button. Double tap to move focus onto the mountain image. Switch focus. Picture of a mountain. Image. Focus image. Heading. Announcement. Heading. Custom action. Heading. Change color. Button. Change color. Announcement. Make announcement. Button. Make announcement. This is a voiceover announcement. Voiceover off. So here we have it. Accessibility and voiceover in Swift UI. If you find this video interesting or useful, give it a like, consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't done it yet, and I will see you next episode. Thank you for watching and goodbye.